Well, um, you have to look at biology from a multifactorial point of view. In other words, our life, our cells do not function with single elements. They function with all of these elements in a special order and a special organization. Unfortunately, modern medicine has developed itself based upon reductionism. These are studies where you break something down, let's say a, a pancreatic cell that you are studying to see why it's not producing insulin. You're breaking it down into just finding out one detail. That's called reductionism. Biology right. doesn't work like that. In the case of uh, gene therapy, which is what we just were talking about, which offers hope for, for someone like you, um, the original investigator said, uh-oh, for a hundred years, we've been training our physicians and our medical scientists to do reductionism, to study the one thing and then to add, try to add those up to get the whole. And they said, but ge uh, genomics do not respond that way. We're gonna have to retrain our investigators to think multifactorially when they're investigating the actual workings of the, uh, of the genome, but they didn't do that. They don't know how to do that. Okay. So we're still using reductionism to break things down into one element, expecting that by adding all of those single things that we found in, that were published in PubMed, that it's gonna add up to the whole, right. but it doesn't. Yeah. So point. if you look at that, let me, let me talk to you about that change just for a second. When MRI, was just becoming invented. There was a fellow by the name of Raymond Damadian, MD, PhD from Harvard, who had a partner named Freeman Cope, and they hired a gentleman by the name of Gilbert N. Ling, who understood that the cell physiology was this multifactorial uh, environment. And with MRI, they could, for the first time, look at the living cell without destroying it or freezing it in place, like it was a like life is a movie. And what we had been do able to do up to that point was only to take one picture frame. Mm -hmm. But after MRI came around and with special technology that they used, they could see the entire movie. And they realized, oh my God, cell physiology is nothing like we thought it was. And they began to understand what cancer really was. And they began to understand what would undo cancer because they could see it for the first time. And it boiled down to three basic fundamental uh, aspects to cells. And when they were able to put those back in to let's say congestive heart failure or to a really decayed pancreas or to uh, cancer, they were able to reverse it, not only to get rid of the disease, but to unage the tissue up to 10 years and they published that. So hmm. that's the field of my research. That's where I've been uh, putting down my stakes, so to speak, looking at the multifactorial nature that relates to the cells. And that as the cells then reproduce in a healthy state very rapidly, can completely heal the human body and in a very rapid way. And if you get these other techniques in there, like stem cell therapy, you just really have some great responses uh, to get people recovered. But that, those are the, the factors that are involved.